G'day guys, Tom Willis here coming to you live from Melbourne, Australia uh, with the fifth video, in, uh, fifth and final video in our 5 and 5 series on tips and tricks for programming with ETC EOS. Thank you so much to everybody who supported me and watched the, uh, the previous videos in this series, provided comments, feedback, uh, advice. It's all uh, been um, greatly appreciated and uh, inspired me to make more of this stuff. So thank you very much. For our final video today, I just wanted to talk to you quickly about a little macro slash process that I use when I'm programming moving lights in a, in a theater context using the ETC EOS. Um, I use this little process a heap. Um, it's a process that I only came across really a couple of years ago, so I feel a little bit noobish admitting that, but it is what it is. I just did things a different way before I, I figured out how to do it like this. So I wanted to share it with you guys. A lot of you will already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, of course, recording presets minus intensity minus color. So if you don't know what I mean by that, um, stay tuned and I will show you. So I'm just going to bring up a light here in my virtual theater and you can see that this light um, has a focus going on it's got some pan and tilt values uh, it's been focused in with some shutters maybe it's focused to a set piece or to a particular part of a stage and I want to put that focus into a record target in my show uh, to reference later when I'm when I'm building this scene so what I would have done in the past is I would have recorded the pan tilt values as a focus palette and then I would have recorded all the beam values as a beam palette. What I do now, of course, is I record all of that into a preset. Because when you think about it, a focus isn't just made up of pan and tilt values, it's also made up of zoom values, edge values, shutter values, all of that contributes to the focus of a light. So it makes sense to put all of that data in the one place. It also makes sense to record that, um, that target with a complete snapshot of the light. So uh, not just the values that you've changed. So that way, when you are, um, when you are recalling that preset in the context of your show, uh, you don't just pull in the active values you pull in all the values of that you get the complete look of of that focus if that makes sense uh, so preset record preset is the perfect way of doing that of course um, your color and your intensity aren't really parts of the focus of that light so it makes sense to exclude them from that preset and so that's why we use record uh, channel selection minus intensity minus color record preset. So I'm just going to do that now to show you. I go channel one, minus intensity, minus color, record preset, and we'll put that into preset six. And there it is. Now I can bring that light up. And there you go. Now I've made a little macro to speed up that process and to do a couple of other things as well. So I'll show you that now. We've got another light here that's doing a similar but uh, different focus and we want to document that. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to hit this record preset macro and I'm going to select where I want to put it. And there it is. I'll show you what this macro does. It basically does what I showed you before, but it also um, includes an additional step whereby it first uh, makes the values that are going to be recorded into that preset absolute values. And that's just a little safeguard to ensure that we don't end up um, embedding other palettes into our focus preset. We want this focus preset to be its own thing, and we don't want any external uh, palettes to have an effect on it after the fact. Okay, so the first line just makes all those values absolute, and then the second line um, does that minus intensity minus color record preset. And that's it. That little uh, process is how I, rec how I record every focus position um, that I use 
in a show. So in a typical main stage theatre production, I'll have maybe a hundred, maybe more of those presets. Uh, I document them all, I make sure they're all properly labeled so I can see where in the show they get used, what fixtures um, reference them. I have two sections of presets. I'll have presets that are my kind of general presets, like my uh, my stage washes and my um, my presets that get used, my focuses that get used multiple times throughout a show. And then I'll also have my scene specific presets. So those kind of individual moments. Um, the reason I, dif I, I differentiate between those is that I, it, it helps me to understand what I'm affecting when I update one of those focus positions. Am I just updating that focus position or am I update, updating uh, several focus, focus positions throughout the show? So there you go. That's my, that's my take on recording presets minus intensity minus color. Um, I hope that was useful to you guys. I'm sorry uh, for those of you who know all about that. But if you hadn't heard about it, then go out, give it a go, see if it doesn't rock your world. Um, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.